Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 in this pretty far tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install Stow That Weapon by Will. Big shout out to Will. Thank you so much for this plugin. And what this plugin does is say you have your rifle out and you want to put it away so you can switch either to your pistol, your taser, or you know you just want to put your rifle away. Instead of it disappearing in your weapon wheel, this makes it where you can put it on the back side of your body or on the front side and stow that weapon. So, you know, it's more realistic and then you can walk back to your vehicle and put it inside your vehicle whenever you're ready to do so. So we are going to go ahead and show you how to install this to keep your game more realistic and keep it going. So if you are new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you get notified anytime we come out with content on this channel. Tons of tutorials and also every single one of you do me that one favor. It's free to you, but means the world to me. Smash that like button. Show some love around here and let's go ahead and get into it. So the very first thing that you want to do is pull up your GTA 5 main directory. However you get to yours is perfectly fine. This is how I get to mine. I go to Steam Library, Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, go to Manage and Browse Local Files. This pulls up my GTA 5 main directory. So you'll see it right here. We're going to make sure that we're not clicked on any folder. If you are clicked on a folder, it'll be highlighted blue, light blue right there. So I'm going to click over here to the side just like so. And what we're going to do is go over here and click download this file. I will have the link to this plugin down in the description for you guys. So we're going to click download this file. We're going to click agree and download. And we're going to go to the very top one right here, main files. We're going to click download. And we are going to go ahead and let that download right there. So my computer's been doing something a little bit different here lately. It's not liking the way that I'm downloading stuff. So it's saying make sure you trust so that weapon plugin. It's not commonly downloaded. I trust it. I'm going to hit these three dots right here where it says more actions. I'm going to click keep. And then I'm going to go right here where it says show more. And I am going to go ahead and keep anyway. Okay. So we're going to click open file right here. And this is our download. So I use WinWare to open up my zip files. It's perfectly free. Um, it, it says that you have to pay for it, but you don't. I've been using WinWare for a couple of years now, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory. Again, make sure you're not clicked on any of these folders, because if you are and you drag it over here, you're going to drag it into that folder. So click over here to the side. And what we're going to do is pull up this download right here. So we have the plugins folder and we have the rage native UI .dll. If you guys do not have a updated file for rage native UI, this one is 517 2023. You guys want to take this one, drag and drop in there. So you can take both of these, the plugins folder and the rage native UI .dll, drag and drop both of them into your GTA 5 main directory. So just like so, we're going to put it in here, replace the files in destination, just like so. And there we go. So we're going to go inside our plugins folder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this download real fast. Pull this up. I'm going to go inside the plugins folder from the download. You're going to see it has two files in here. Back weapon, back weapon. Okay. And if you look inside here, this is where we went. We went inside our GTA 5 main directory. And then we went into the plugins folder. Now you will see these two files in here. Okay. So say you don't want this no more. You don't like it. You don't want it no more. All you have to do is highlight these two files right here. Right click, click delete if you don't want it no more. Or you can go right here where it says back weapon. Right click on it. Click edit. So in here, you're going to have a menu with the, that is within inside the game that allows you to go and change this stuff up of where you want your rifle, how you want it positioned. So right here, the menu key to open up the menu inside the game, I have it as F9. Originally, it's going to come as F5. So if you want to change it, F9 is not used for anything inside my game, so I'm going to keep it F9. But if you want to change it and you don't want it to be F5 like it is originally, you can hit backspace on the 5 and hit F9 or whatever key you want it to be. Go up here to the top, click File, click Save, just like so. So now that is installed inside our game, what we're going to do is go ahead and open up GTA 5. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and use this and how to open up the menu. So we're going to go to Rage Plugin Hook. We're going to open our game up and we'll be right back. All right. So now that we're inside GTA 5, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to work stow that weapon and how to change position from the backside or the front side, however you want it. So what we're going to do is 
I have stopped the pit inside my game. So it makes it where I cannot have a rifle unless I grab it out of my, out of my vehicle. Which is more realistic, which I absolutely love. So we're going to walk over to my driver door. I'm going to hit the letter G and I'm going to hit grab rifle. So we're going to go ahead and grab our rifle. And what we're going to do mm -hmm. is going to walk over here. So the reason why I do not hit uh, use F5, which is what it comes with originally for the plugin. The reason why I don't use F5 for the menu key is because if I hit F5, you'll see that it brings up my quant B menu. So I want it to be F9, so I change it over to F9. So whatever you guys change it over to, hit that key, and I use F9, it's going to bring up this menu right here. So you can change weapon position. So let me hop out of this menu. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch from my rifle to my pistol. So now you can see that rifle is stowed to the front of my body right here, okay? And for you, it will probably be on the back side. So I'm going to show you how to put it on the front side if that's where you want it, or if you wanted to keep it on the back side, we're going to change position. So I do have my pistol inside my hand. I can change it over to my fist. Without my pistol, it will still stay there. So we're going to hit F9, and we're going to change weapon position. So there's different ways that you guys can do this. So you guys can use your arrow arrows on your uh, keyboard. Mm -hmm. One, um, so if you press up on the arrow, you're going to see it's going to go up. If you press down, it's going to go down. If you press right, it'll go to the right. If you press left, it'll go to the left. All right. So say you want it on the front side or say you want it on the back side of your body. You can hit the number two and two will bring it to the back side of your body. Just like so. So it's on the back side of my body. I'm going to press up so it's at a good position. So this will change, so you can see the gap right there in between my back and the rifle. If I hit the number eight, I could bring it closer to my back so you're not seeing a gap right there that makes it look unrealistic, just like so. So say you want it on the front side of your body just like I had it. You can hit the number eight on your key, a numpad. So if you're hitting eight on your numpad, you could go ahead and do this and take it to the front side of your body. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it down below my body cam and I'm gonna put it exactly where I want it right there. So say you want to change the position where it's angled different. You can go ahead and hit right or you can hit left. So if you hit left on your arrow board, it'll make it to the left. You hit right, it'll make it go to the right. If you hit the number four on your keypad, on your numpad, sorry. If you hit four, it will change the pitch on it or the row of it and make it where, you know, it could go like this or it could go down, straight down like that. So however you want it. So I'm going to keep it just like this. So if you hit seven. So if you hit seven, you could change. Um, so seven and nine will change basically the way that it's angled. So it's kind of hard for me to explain why it's sitting here on the front side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it to the back side and watch my gun right here on the back side. So if I hit the number seven, it will angle the tip of the uh, rifle from the barrel. It will angle it more towards me. If I hit the number nine, it will angle it away from me, just like so. I don't know why I just pulled up my uh, my menu right there or my radar. But um, yeah, if you hit the number nine or seven, it will change like the way that the guns actually like, whether mm -hmm. the barrel is pointing towards you or away from you, uh, or the uh, the back of the gun, the um, stock. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and hit the number eight, get it all the way to the back side of me, just like this. I'm gonna try to make sure I have no gap in between to make it more look more realistic uh, without the gap there. We're gonna go ahead and raise it up just like so, and you guys will see right here i could change the pitch or the row of it just like so if i hit one it will change the pitch of it and three will change the pitch of it also so it just uh, make it where you know you have it exactly how you want it on the back side of you so if you want to save this all you have to do is hit enter just like so save and reload and you're going to see now i have it on my front side but if i switch over to my pistol or switch over to my rifle sorry switch over to my rifle and then I switch back over to my fist you're gonna see right there it's on the back side of my body just like this there's no gap in between it mm -hmm. um, so if I hit F9 we go down here to hide while inside vehicle if you do not have this check mark what it's gonna do and let me go ahead and switch it up real fast I'm gonna switch it back over to the front side of my body just like this it doesn't really matter where it is I'm just gonna show you guys this real fast I'm gonna bring it down just a tad bit down just a tad bit we're going to move it closer to my body and what we're going to do is hit enter and save so change weapon position i did not save if you don't save it will not work for you so i'm gonna bring it down just like this we're gonna move it closer to my body i'm gonna hit enter i'm gonna hit save just like this i'm gonna grab my rifle 
but then I'm gonna keep it on the front side of my body just like this okay so you see that it's on the front side of my body if I go down here and hide while in vehicle uncheck mark that hop inside my vehicle you're gonna see that that rifle is gonna stay right there on my um, chest so you can see I can't really uh, zoom in too much let's see if we get a better position so you can see the rifle is actually on the front side of my body but if I hit F9 and hide while inside vehicle it takes it away so that is how you make it where if it's on your backside or on your front side and you don't want it to show while you're inside the vehicle that is how you do it this right here disable flashlight what disable flashlight does is say I have my flashlight on my um, gun when I put it on my chest the flashlight will stay on okay if I have it off it will stay off but if you don't want it on at all it will disable the flashlight um, so you're gonna want to you know check mark it so you got change menu key like I said you could do this inside the menu with inside the game so I have mine to key binding F9. So whatever key binding you want that's on your computer that you want to use, all you have to do is hit it. So if I use the letter H, it'll switch over to the letter, letter H. So if I hit the letter H now, I'll pull up my menu. I'm gonna change it back over to F9 because I don't use F9, so I'm gonna have it on F9. So you got accepted weapons right here. So for accepted weapons, you got SMG, pump shotgun, pump shotgun, MK2, carbine rifle, carbine rifle, MK2, Special Carbine, Special Carbine, and K2. These are the accepted weapons for use and stow that weapon. These are the weapons that will be able to stay on your chest or on your backside um, for stow that weapon. These are uh, accepted weapons. Um, you got AI settings. In here, you can enable, um, change, require, reload, and plugins. Um, you can change if AIs are able to do it. You can make it where cops only um, are able to do this. You got hide while in vehicle for, you know, say you have a partner or anything like that. So you got all that stuff right there. You could um, change delete weapon key right there. So you could change the key for the weapon. And um, there you guys go. You guys now have that inside your game. You guys are able to change the position up. Whether you're a person that likes it on the front side or the back side. Me personally, I like it on the front side. I just got to change it up just a tad bit and bring it out. So I'm gonna bring it out just a tad bit, but not where it's too far out. But I don't want my clothing to be, um, you know, going through it when I'm moving. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this. Let's go ahead and put it back. There we go. So when I'm moving, I don't want my clothing to go through it like it's going through the clip. So I might have to change that just a tad bit more and adjust it. But I do like it on the front side. So whenever I'm done and I wanna pull my uh, pistol out, I go ahead and pull my pistol out, and then I have my rifle on my front side right there. I absolutely love that right there. Because it's kind of hard to sling your rifle over your shoulder from the backside and be able to, you know, get in a firefight if, you know, it's on the backside. So I like it on the front side right there. It looks really good. I think this mod will be so much better, or this plugin will be so much better if it had, like, a strap that goes with it where you could adjust the strap and how it looks on you. I think that would be amazing. But for the way it is, Will, thank you so much for it. We do love it. Absolutely love it. This is going to stay inside my game. So thank you all for coming by and watching. Y'all stay blessed to see if out there. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Um, for those of you that want to get rid of the rifle, say you don't want the rifle there no more, walk up to your vehicle, hit the letter G, store rifle, just like so. You're going to store the rifle. And now it is no longer on my chest. Now say I want to grab my shotgun. I'm going to grab my shotgun. Grab that out of there. Just got to show you guys this real fast. It'll work the same for the shotgun. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over and you can see the shotgun is now on my chest right there. I'm not holding it with my hands. So now we have the shotgun on there. So that's how you guys do that right there. And uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe out there. And um, definitely do me that one favor. If this did help you and you did enjoy this, definitely smash the like button. Really do appreciate it. Help me.